this morning I am on my way to what we call the Chele, which is the cellar. It's not the actual butcher shop, it's the commercial butcher shop a little down the street where we debone the you know cow sides and kind of ship everything out to the restaurant orders and process most of the meat that goes through the restaurant. And that's where I got my start um, with all my boys you know, down there a couple of years ago and I love being in there. I love learning about cows and, you know, where the steaks come from. Um, such a special thing to me. So I'm really excited to get back in there today. How many followers do you have? 16,000. What? 16,000. Really? Really? Jadava is doing some type of inventory, I guess. Yes. And we're figuring out what exactly needs to go where today because we have some shipping to do and a little bit of deboning to do too. This is chain mail, so I don't stab myself in the stomach. Okay, now I'm heading into the deboning area. This is where all the magic happens. This is where all the work is. Uh, we have Cedo in here. He's already started on one of the legs. So the idea here is you're not actually cutting the meat per se. You're more separating different muscles. Uh, you're kind of, you're just kind of taking the bones out and then you're separating them into different cuts. It's actually pretty delicate work. You don't want your knife to go into, you know, specific cuts and they don't look good and it's, this is a very high quality butcher shop so they're very particular about um, their steaks here. Chainmail glove. It's so lucky day. Okay. Because we never be able to Yeah? Yeah. just separating the membrane, separating the... He's using gravity to pull it apart. Campanello. If you've ever had a steak or a hamburger before, and this offends you, you're a hypocrite, because this is where steaks and hamburgers come from. This is Ricardo. Hi. <laughs> He's the manager of the butcher shop. He's gonna cut some steaks. Ricky, where are we going right now? We go to see the canina cow. The canina cow? Huge white cow. Big white cows. Going to see Luigi. Big horn. All the cow. Where's Luigi? He's inside. He's inside. And these are canina cows. Canina is the largest race of cow in the world. Actually, the tallest race of cow in the world. And born in Tuscany, grow in Tuscany. Only in Tuscany. Yeah. Only in you can only get Kenina cows in Kenina Tuscany. Tuscany. This brand of cow is very expensive. Look at this guy. Oh, she doesn't like me very much. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm just trying to do my best to make friends, but I don't know. All these cows are scared of me. I don't know why. I didn't do anything. All right. So all those other cows were female. This is. This guy is the only male in all of Panzano. 
and I'll give you one guess for what his job is. Look at this guy. Luigi. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. That's a big boy cow. Ladies, I'll see you soon. Hopefully not too soon, okay? Ciao. You call this what? We call Concadoro, it's the Gold Valley. Concadoro, the Gold because, Valley. Uh, it's good for the um, temperature, like uh, the wind. Uh, everything is perfect for making the, good, the best wine. The best wine right yeah. here. The Gold Valley. Grande acido. Come va? Bene, bene. Sì, sì. Io bene, tu? Guarda il casino, eh? Tu, qui c'è un casino. Sempre casino. Wow. Wow. Grande casino. Sei fotografo oggi? Sì, sì. Fare un video per YouTube. Grande. This is Acido. Achido is Dario's gardener. He lives in his house. I love him. I love him. Happiest guy I've ever met in my life. <laughs> I love Achido. Yay! Grande Dario. Oh, ciao! Come stai? Check us out. Ciao! Oh, Grande! Hey. Daddy! What's up, bro? You okay? Yeah. Yes. I missed you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grande. Tutto posto? All right, let's see how it's done. Like <laughs> Dario! Grande. 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 Tutto posto? Tutto bene. Wow. Che casino, huh? Yeah. Grazie. Grazie. Tutto, Tutto posto? Si, si. Tutto bene. Ciao, Dane! Ciao, ciao, ciao! Oh, oh my god! How are you, man? You good? Wow, this is nice, huh? Yeah, it's a new place. There's an absolute show in here. Music's blasting. They're cutting up steaks. They're all, everyone's all over the place. Unbelievable experience. Look at this. They're just giving out free food and wine. It's spilling out into the street. When you're here, you're part of the family. This is Chianti. This is Tuscany. This is what it's all about. Unbelievable. I didn't think there was going to be anyone here. It's completely packed. I'm here with my uncle. This is my zio, Dario Cicchini, the most famous butcher in the world. Uh, I've known Dario for four years. Uh, ever since I came in here, he saw me. He said, hey, when you're done with your season, come here. I'll teach you how to debone cows. And, you know, in return, you work for me in the restaurant. And I've been coming back ever since. And now Dario is my family. The thing that uh, separates Dario 
from everyone else in the world is the respect, the respeto that he gives to the animal. You'd use the, the naso a coda. La coda. What is the co cosa e la filosofia di della macellaia? Una vita felice per gli animali, spazi liberi, cibo buono, vita naturale. Una morte onesta, compassionevole, usare tutto bene dal naso alla coda fino all'ultimo tendine, all'ultimo pezzo di grasso, all'ultimo osso e ringraziare per il dono. E il, la responsabilità del sacrificio, carne e spirito, la morte dell'animale che nutre la nostra vita. Ogni taglio è un pezzo di una vita. La filosofia di Dario è every, every taglio of the, the, of the carne, mucca, è lo stesso. È lo stesso. Tutto è buono se è cucinato bene. Ma ti piace il mu muso? Mi piace più che la bistecca, il naso, la trippa, il sangue, il fegato, il cuore. This is the taste of the butcher because when you're in a butcher's family, you don't eat bistecche. Non eh, mangia bistecche. Mai, non si mangia bistecche, non si mangia altro. tutto l'avanzo, tutto lo scarto che i clienti non vogliono. Grande. And everything here is Tuscan recipes antique butcher recipes, Dario's family's recipes from otto generazione? Otto generazione. Du 250 anni. 250 anni. 250 anni. Ma, ma è veloce a passare perché, perché sono già 45 anni che io faccio questo lavoro da solo. Grande, grande. Dario, grazie. This is... Dang! Sempre My amici. nephew! Yeah, come on, dai, dai. E... We must remember one thing, to beef or, or not, not to beef, beef. that, that is, is the question. question. Grande, grazie Dario, grazie. It's getting dark, it's starting to hail, uh, so I'm going to probably shut this down right now, but uh, what an adventure. Coming to Panzano, Tuscany, Chianti, this is the best steaks in the world. I love coming here, this is my family, and I'm so happy I get to be here. So, if you're ever in Florence, I don't know. Hit me up, let me know, I'll set you up, you'll come here, they'll treat you like royalty. It's an unbelievable experience. So, you can do this too. You can come to Florence and find the best steaks in the world. But first, I gotta say goodbye. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta come up here on the big step. Dario, I just wanna thank you for everything. Grazie per tutto. You understand what I'm saying, Iglesias. Every time I come here, I'm family, and it's such a special time being here. I love Panzano, I love you, Dario. Thank you for everything. Ciao a tutti. Zio Dario. <laughs> Zio Dario, grazie. Grande uh, Dario, grazie. Uh, uh, uh. Grazie. Ok. <sighs> Now I have like two and a half hours of driving back to Forlì, so pray for me. This is really strange, so it's cloudy and the sun is going down, so it's like dark here, but through the horizon there's this like kind of crack in the clouds, so you can see the sun down, but it's the sunset but it's really thin this is actually really insane to see i've never seen anything like this before